Hello and happy Sunday. This is Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com and today is Sunday, December the 18th and this is chat number 300. Can you believe it? So welcome, welcome everybody. Oh, and I've got my resting Grinch face on today. So, you know, you know how it is. Um, but welcome, welcome everybody. I'm going to try and get, oh yeah, get caught up with you here so that I can see your comments. If you're brand new, let us know because we would love to welcome you. Otherwise, hello and happy Sunday, everybody. Um, this is December the 18th. Um, we've had a busy, busy week of markets. Hello, land markets, Christmas parties, um, Sunday school get togethers, all kinds of things. So I'm slap worn out. So you all are going to have to keep me awake tonight because I am ready to go to bed. But um, hello and happy Sunday, everybody. Again, if you're brand new, hello, Elaine. Welcome, welcome. If you're brand new, let us know because we would love to welcome you. Um, it's been a busy month already. Halfway through, I guess we're a little over halfway through. Hello, Carol Lou, and thank you, Carol, for my card. If I can point in the right direction, thank you very much. Let's see, and hello, Cheryl. Hello, Sylvia. Hello, Cynthia. Hello, Sandra from Demons. Sandra from Demons Ferry. Yes. Hello. Happy Sunday, everybody. Hello, uh, Linda from Rock Island, Illinois. Hello, John from Home Base. I told you all you're going to have to keep me awake today. Hello, Julie. So we had um, a market here at Casey Kitchen Center on Friday and Saturday. Then we had a Sunday school class party last night. Then we had another Sunday school event this morning. Hello, Mary Ann from Pennsylvania. Um, I'm worn out. I am exhausted, so y'all are going to have to help me stay awake. We're going to have to have a fun and exciting time um, today, okay, so that y'all can help me stay awake. But this is chat number 300, and it is titled, End the Year with Intention, and we'll talk about that here in just a few minutes. Thank you, Sandra. This is absolutely one of my favorite sweaters. Oh my gosh, okay, and Mindy is here. Mindy, how are you feeling? And hello, Mary from cold Pittsburgh. Hello, Patty. Good to see you. Hello, Katie from chilly Minneapolis. Oh yeah, and we had the girl, John just reminded me, and the girls um, slept over last night. So yeah, we're I'm exhausted. I'm already ready to go to bed. I was ready to go to bed at like four o'clock this afternoon. Aloha, Kathy. Let me see, I missed somebody. Uh, let's see, hello, Karen. Yeah, okay, I think I'm caught up with everybody. So again, if you're just joining us, hello, hello, hello. If you are, hello, Terry. If you're watching this later on YouTube, and that is just youtube.com, search if you have an egg. Um, I would love to say hi to you. would love to say hello. We This is like your own meeting. So this is like you're going to your own meeting. And you would definitely welcome somebody if we were at an in-person meeting. So everybody, you know, just kind of reach in there and give everybody a virtual hug. Um, especially Mindy. They've had a rough couple of months. And now Mindy is sick too. So anyway, just know we're thinking about you. And hello, Lisa from Arkansas. Um, it's going to be fun in the second half of tonight's chat since it is um, the 300th chat. So we are here with the 300th, ending the year with intention. Um, hello, hello everybody. Sunday, December the 18th, and y'all are gonna have to help me stay awake. Okay, so a little bit of news, and thank you, Karen, thank you very much. Um, and hello, Sherry, it's good to see you. So a little bit of news, I've already said it three times. Tonight is the 300th chat. Can you believe it? Can you believe that we've, 300? I mean, that's crazy. I cannot believe that we were already on the 300th chat, and it's not like we've done one every single week. Um, you will need a piece of paper, and thank you, Lynn. You'll need a piece of paper and your preferred writing utensil for the second half of tonight's chat. So you don't need to run off anywhere just yet and grab it. I'll give you just a minute. Hello, Deborah. I'll give you just a minute to grab it when we get ready to start the second half, uh, but you will need a piece of paper and a writing utensil, and if we have, and I seriously doubt we'll have one winner, Hello, Patty. I seriously doubt it. Oh, hello, Sandra from, uh, hello, Sandra. And thank you very much. Um, I seriously doubt that we will have a winner, but if we do, you could win a fabulous prize, the super cute weatherproof vinyl sticker egg sticker. So stay tuned for the second half. And that's only for people who are here with us live. Hello, Sandy. I mean, I want everybody to play, but you have to be here with us live to win. Okay, so tonight is the, is the 300th chat. I can't believe it. And um, you will need a piece of paper and a writing utensil for the second half. The next little bit of news is that next week is Christmas. So if you can believe it. So a week, one week from today is Christmas Day. And the popular vote on whether or not to do a chat next week, hello Melinda, the popular vote on whether or not to do a chat next week was just to hold off. 
So a few people weren't sure what their plans were, or they, you know, everything was going to be done, you know, before Christmas Day. Everything's a little up in the air with Casey and Alan and the girls right now. So I think we're going to go ahead and skip next week since it is Christmas Day, but we should be on for a chat the next week. So today is the 18th, chat tonight, 300th chat tonight. Next week is the 25th, no chat next Sunday night. And I'll tell you all Merry Christmas at the end on the 25th. And then the next Sunday would be, would that be the first? So that would be the first. And yes, we will be having a chat that day. Okay. Also, we are having, for those of you who um, know that we have all these really super cool things here at Casey Kitchen Center, um, we're having an end of the year blowout closeout here in the retail store. And I'm just going to mention this fast because everything in the showroom this week will be 25% off. The first week of January, everything's going to be 35% off. And then whatever's left will be 50% off for a couple of weeks because we've got to make some room. And um, I wouldn't wait too long to take advantage of this. And I'm telling you all this because it includes Dax Spices. It includes Petal Java Coffee. It includes Super Cubes. It includes... Um, wet it claws it includes all of your favorite things so i'm just going to mention that you do not need a coupon code to participate in any of that but i know especially my dax spices people like there are only a handful of the asian zings left um but we, we've got to make some room so 25 percent off starting this week 35 percent off the next week and then 50 percent off for at least a week after that and um yeah no coupon code needed and that is at if you go to if you have an egg.com forward slash shop s-h-o-p or if you go to www.kckitchencenter.com you can take advantage of those so those those discounts won't be in there until tomorrow but i wanted to let you all know okay so that's my news for right now because we've got a lot to talk about okay good and katie's got some things to order um katie give the girls a few minutes to put it in or if you go in and place your order if they don't already have the 25 percent off on there um, just go ahead and message the girls and let them know what you want to get and they can go ahead and hurry and take it off of those items because there are like I don't know a couple of hundred he has got a couple of hundred items to take that pricing off on okay so this is chat number 300 again you do not have to go get your piece of paper and your favorite writing utensil yet but you will need it in the second half first thing I need to know this is the week before Christmas okay we are one week away from Christmas who sat your bottom in a chair this week. So give me a thumbs up. If you went to an in-person uh, Weight Watchers workshop this week, give me a thumbs up for that. Um, or if you went to a, a Zoom meeting, if you went to a virtual meeting, whoop, and Linda had her bottom in a green chair again the Sunday before Christmas. Very good, guys. Girls, guys, girls. Thumbs ups for that. Linda did, yep. Yeah. And if you were here with us live last week or watched on demand, let me see some hearts. I'm already seeing lots of thumbs ups and hearts go by. Good job, everybody. Mary, Lynn, let's see, Deborah, lots and lots and lots of you. So good job, everybody. Oh, Scott was in a green chair. Thumbs up. So Scott, you must be an official Weight Watchers location to be sitting in a green chair. Here are your Bravo stickers. Everybody's virtual Bravo stickers for attending an in-person workshop or a Zoom workshop or attending and or attending here with us live last week or watching later on demand. Extra Bravo stickers because it's the week before Christmas. I'll be anxious to see who's here with us the week after Christmas. So that's going to be the telltale. Either you all will be ready to get back on track or we'll, I'm sure we will have some people that will be like, yeah, I'll just wait it out another week. I encourage you, do not wait it out another week. Even if all you do is show up, you don't have to turn yourself in. Just, you know, just show up. Okay, this is chat number 300. Today is December the 18th. We are winding down 2022. Last week was chat number 299, and we were talking about, it was titled, Stop Believing the Lies. This was probably the most powerful for me chat that we have had in all 300, um, and we'll, I'll tell you why here in just a few minutes, but last week I was off, I don't know how, I was off track on the Weight Watchers topics, and um, well, Melinda said her app finally updated. But so last week, somehow I had gotten off I don't know how I was off schedule with the Weight Watchers topic so I just went off on my own tangent and I told you all about a book that Casey had gotten for us called Girl Wash Your Face. I love this book. I've got a couple of friends who are not fond of the author but you know what? I love it. I love this book and each chapter of this book is called The Lie, The Lie and then it's followed by a topic. So like chapter six was The Lie, 
no is the final answer. And last week we were talking about, you know, some of those lies. So it's lies that we either tell ourselves or it's lies that somebody else tells us that we, you know, that we believe, you know, like maybe your boss said you couldn't, you know, do something. Thank you, Sherry. This is my resting Grinch face sweater. And it's probably one of my most frequently worn sweaters. Um, but, um, oh, I totally got distracted talking about my resting Grinch face. Uh, but anyway, one of the things that the author said was, when things are allowed to sit in the darkness, when we are afraid to speak them out loud, we give them power. I've made some significant decisions this week. John and I have made some significant decisions this week because some of the things that I was lying to myself about, you know, that things are like I want them, things are okay, you know, that we're good with this, whatever. Once we said them out loud, so when we didn't say them out, when we did not speak them out loud, we were actually giving them power. Um, I don't know, sometimes I'm afraid to say things because I'm afraid if I say them out loud, that's going to be the power, but not saying them out loud, that was giving them power. So some of the things we talked about last week were, uh, one lie was the lie, I'll never lose weight. That is a lie. That is a lie. You may not lose as much as you want um, or as much as you think you need to, but you can find that sweet spot. Another lie that we tell ourselves, another lie that we tell ourselves is no one understands nobody gets me nobody else can possibly be going through what i'm going through that's another lie you're here we're here because we get you and our stories might be a little bit different but trust me we all get you we all do and then the next lie was i can't tell anyone about and i was shocked how many people used the i can't tell anyone about and then told someone about it for their homework this week so maybe you didn't want to tell somebody about your triple digit day. Maybe you didn't want to tell somebody about your past. Maybe you didn't want to tell somebody about your um, about how much weight you gained during COVID. Um, how many times you weren't honest on your tracker. Some of these though were huge. Some of these were huge lies that we have, had told ourselves um, and they're all big fat lies. And you can tell somebody about them. You can tell us about them because we are a safe space. So your homework for last week was hashtag just a light L-I-G-H-T, just a light, like illuminating a light. And I know with my accent, sometimes it's hard to tell. And some people thought it was, hello, Orlando Debbie. Some people thought it was just a lie, but it's just a light, L-I-G-H-T. Um, and so last week, I wanted you to step so far out of your comfort zone that I didn't think I was going to get much participation. But this was probably one of our most most heavily done um, homework sessions and you all dug deep. I mean, you seriously dug deep. So let's see what a couple of you all said. And it was seriously hard. Hello, Roberta. It was seriously hard to pick three, just three to tell you all about. I mean, these were fantastic. I cannot, I cannot believe how much you all opened up and how bright your lights were shining. So the first one was Anita and Anita, I mean, bared it all. She literally bared it all. And you know what? Her light shines so bright that it is blinding okay if you did not read what anita um what anita said for her homework last week you've got to go over to the if you have an egg facebook group and read that i mean what a bright light such a bright light scott is definitely he's 100 percent our most active guy and his motivational posts are whew i mean like whew okay his story whew big whew I mean, what a light, what a, just a bright light. I, hello Vicki, I mean, Anita and Scott, I was almost in tears over those two, okay? I mean, my gosh, they were fantastic. And I'll tell you, just those two had so many people talking who were afraid to talk about things. I mean, it just, I don't know, such bright lights. And then Sylvia faced her lies head on, head on. And these were lies that we have all, so Sylvia's were things that we, that we all face. They're things that we all face. Okay. And we all tell ourselves and they are lies that we, that we say to ourselves every single day. Just, she was just so truthful about this. Um, and I know her commitment to being honest with herself will be a light that will shine bright for the rest of us because it was such a thing that you know we could all i don't know that we could all just relate to but you all were fantastic your homework was amazing inspirational extra huge 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 bravo stickers huge bravo stickers so congratulations to everybody who did your homework i can't believe how much you all opened up 
inspirational for all of us. I mean, really life-changing for some people. So I don't know if y'all realize how much it means to people, but extra huge, large Bravo stickers. Congratulations, everybody. Um, this week, we're talking about ending your year with intention. It's here. We are have almost wrapped up 2022, and I will not see you again in person until 2023. Can you believe that? I won't. It'll be 2023 when I see you all again next. And I want to say, I'm not setting resolutions for this new year. I'm setting intentions instead. Weight Watchers has talked a lot about intentions this last couple this last couple of weeks. No resolutions for me. I'm setting intentions instead. I don't want any more empty promises to myself. No more pie in the sky. Won't make it, you know, past January the 15th ideas of what of what the new year should look like. The weekly, this week nailed it. Um, let's not complicate matters by making up fancy and cutesy little titles for each one of these boxes that will be typed on um, ifyouhaveanegg.com. Everything I'm saying will be posted on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com within the next couple of days. And I'm literally, this week, I'm using what Weight Watchers had posted on your weekly. So straightforward. They nailed it. I'm not going to complicate it. You can go back and look at your weekly anytime um, by going to your Weight Watchers app on your phone or on your tablet. And then you can go to the bottom to the bottom of that home screen and go to the Discover tab, and it just looks like a little, it almost looks like a little notepad with a little square in the upper uh, left-hand corner, and go um, go there on your app, and then go to See More WW Techniques, and that's where you can go back and see the previous week's um, chat. So these were great. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complicate things by changing what it says. So these all came from your Weight Watchers uh, Weekly this week. The first one was I Value. So they had this nice little box and it said, I value. I want you to say that out loud. I value. And then you're going to fill in that blank. So you're going to insert something there. So everybody stop what you're doing. Stop watching something else on TV. Stop singing Christmas carols. Stop making Christmas cookies. And I want you to say out loud, I value. And then put something in there. Okay. Did you say I value time spent away from my grandkids? Probably not. I value taking handfuls of medicine and or shots so that I can keep eating cookies. Yeah, probably not something that you value. Yeah, I don't think so. And I want y'all to shout out what your answers are. I value, and then insert something in there. Carol Lou says me. I value me. That's fantastic. That's actually a great first answer to come up here on the chat. I'm going to wait and see what a couple of y'all say before I move on. So I value... And of course, instead of, you know, I, I value time spent away from my grandkids, I value time spent with my granddaughters. Terry says, I value myself. Sandra says, me. Oh, Patty says, I value my family. Let's get a couple more. Oh, good one, Cynthia. Cynthia says, I value my health. Sylvia says, family time. Sherry says, me. Lynn says, I value my family. And Roberta says, I value, I love your families. And Deborah says, I value freedom to be able to move. That is fantastic. And Teresa says she values her family. And Hattie values her kids. <coughs> All, and Scott says, I value this group and everything I learned. That is so sweet. That is so sweet. Julie says, I value my posse, egglets, and my family, and water. So Julie's been doing this water challenge this month, and I'm telling you, she has, she's really kept me on top of it. Okay, and I'm going to have to take a sip of something here. It is, the weather <coughs> here in Knoxville has been crazy the last couple of days, and I'm tired, so give me just a second. Okay, thank you. So that is I value. Then the next one is... I intend to. So notice that that didn't say I promise to or even I really want to, really, really want to. <coughs> it says I intend to. And an article that I found, oh, hold on. Debbie says I value not being on meds anymore. That is awesome. Um, in an article that I found from nutritiouslife.com, I found another one of those wow statements this week. Um, so I want you to listen to what yoga coach Danielle had to, has to say about this. She said the resolution problem the resolution problem lies in thinking that we aren't good enough. Okay, that's another one of those lies. So the resolution problem she's talking about resolutions versus intentions. Okay, 
the resolution problem lies in thinking that we aren't good enough the way we are and that we will be better or happier when we get something else or change who we are. In setting an intention, you resolve that you're already enough. You're already enough. So you move forward without having an attachment to the outcome. It's more about the journey. You might still want to lose 10 pounds, but it isn't focused on skinny jeans. It involves caring enough about yourself to eat good food and exercise. Naturally, the pounds come off, but it's not because you need to change who you are. Wow. Again. So, so many of you all just said, I value my health. I value me. I value myself. That says it all right there. So instead of resolving, instead of saying, oh, I'm setting a resolution to lose 10 pounds, maybe you intend to take better care of yourself or you can set an intention instead um, that you, you know, that you want to eat better or that you want to be healthier um, and that you're going to, you're going to set an intention for the end of the year. Okay. Yep. Mary just said it. I intend to take better care of myself and the weight will take care of itself. The weight, how you feel, all of that will take care of itself. But you don't have to, and I love what she says here, you resolve, so she is going to set a, res a resolution here, you resolve that you are already enough so that you can move on without being, without having an attachment to the outcome. So you're not, let's say, let's say that it was the 10 pounds. So you're not just attached to that 10 pounds so that if you don't lose 10 pounds, let's say you lose eight pounds. If, you're res if you made a resolution and your resolution was to lose 10 pounds and you didn't make 10, but you made eight, that's a hard one. That's a hard one. So the intention, you can make a different intention. Okay. And then the next one is I can, again, wow. Now that you have shouted out loud what you value and understand that you are moving forward without having an attachment to the outcome, I want you to list three things that you can think, do, remember, whatever, because you can. So instead of saying, you know, well, I can't lose 10 pounds. Okay, well, I can include vegetables every day. Or I can remember that my, I don't know, I can remember that my jeans were a little bit loose this morning. Or I can think about how it's going to feel when I can run and keep up with the grandkids. Okay, so that is, an, is a bigger easier way to think about a resolution versus an intention. Um, and Julie says, I can lose another 25 pounds next year. Sure. She knows how to do it. She can definitely do it. Um, but you can think about that in a different way that you, you value. So list what you value. Oh, hold on a second. Deborah says, I can move more and drink more water and more fruits and vegetables. Oh, Mary, that's a great one. Mary says, I can shop better. Okay, let's just stop for a second and talk about that one because Mary, that's actually really, really good. So instead of saying I can lose weight or I can walk 6,000 steps or I can do whatever, I can shop better. We can all shop better, okay? Lynn, perfect. I can drink more water, I can eat more vegetables, and I can move more. That's perfect. Those are all things that you can do. So let's make our intentions things that you can do. Hello, Barbara. It's good to see you and thank you. Um, so let's make our intentions about things that we can do. Let's figure out what we value. Let's figure out what we intend to do. <gasps> Ooh, hold on. That's a great one too. Patty says, I can stop negative self-talk in its tracks. You definitely can do that. And we can all do that. Um, but so let's figure out what we value. So remember that first statement was, um, Oh, and Vicki says, Kelly, what helped you recently with your 20? So, okay, I'm sorry, I'm going to sidetrack just a second and answer that question. So, what helped me with my 20 to get off my COVID 20 is I decided, hey, so last week's chat when we were talking about lies, so I quit telling myself the lie that I couldn't get rid of um, the COVID 20 and that COVID had ruined my life and that it had ruined my goal weight. So, I stopped that and then I told myself, we hadn't even talked, had this chat yet. Um, but I told myself I can still include vegetables, even though the program has changed, even though we're no longer getting um, extra points, even though we're not adding back points for vegetables. I can still add vegetables at every meal. I can plan something to have here at work. Um, I can say no to the girls when they want to go grab, um, you know, something out to eat. And I can say yes to me 
instead of saying yes to everybody else. So that one is a hard one for me. I want to say yes to everybody else and please everybody else. And lots of times don't say yes to me. Okay, so I value, fill in the blank. I intend to fill in another blank and then I can. And I want you to think about three things that you can do. Okay, so your homework for this week is no resolutions. Your homework for this week is hashtag no re resolutions. Oh, wait, hold on a second. Cheryl said that's kind of what she did because, yeah, because we were, I think Cheryl and I were both using COVID as an excuse. You know, that was our excuse. You know, well, I can't get rid of this weight because of stupid COVID. Um, but your homework for this week is no resolutions. N -O, hashtag N-O-R-E-S-O-L-U-T-I-O-N-S. Hashtag no resolutions. I don't want you to set any resolutions. Thank you, Deborah, for posting that. I want you to... I don't want to hear any of your resolutions, okay? I don't want to hear anybody over in the group doing it. I don't want to hear anybody here on the page doing it. No resolutions, okay? Thank you, Lynn, for posting that. Um, no in unrealistic wish lists uh, that involve changing who you are. I don't want to hear any of those. No resolutions. So instead, for your homework, hello, Anita. Anita, we were all chatting about you back during the... Um, Homework from last week part, so you're gonna to have to go back and watch go back and watch that. Um, but instead, I want you to tell me for your homework, I want you to tell me what you value, something you intend to do in 2023, and what you can. So something you can think, something you can do, something you can remember, something you can tell yourself, um, whatever you can. And then don't forget to tag me in it so that I will find you. I will see you if you do this on Instagram or um, if you go ahead and do your homework on if you have an egg.com after this gets posted or if you um, watch this later on YouTube and you comment there, I will automatically see those. And thank you all for all the hearts. Um, so your homework for this week is hashtag no resolutions. Again, we're not making any resolutions this year, okay? We're only setting an intention. So the intention is to say, I value blank. Then you're going to tell me, tell, tell me us what you intend to do. So let's say like mine is, you know, I value spending more time with my grandchildren. Um, I intend to find a way to spend more time with my grandchildren. I intend to find a way to not be here seven days a week. And what I can do is to make a plan. I can reach out to other people who can help me with this goal. And I can pray about it. So those are, whoa. Okay, Dusty just fell out of the chair. You okay, buddy? Hold on just a second. I think he just woke up scared and fell out of the chair. So here's Dusty, everybody. He's fine. That's weird. That's the first time he's ever done that. Anyway, so those are the things that you can do. Do your homework, do your homework, do your homework. Um, This is chat number 300. We are getting ready for the fun part. So we are going to play a game. We're going to play a trivia game. So we're gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna get something to drink. You go get something to drink. I'm actually drinking tea instead of drinking um, water, but everybody go get a drink of water. We are at the halfway point. Normally at the halfway point, I go ahead and, um, whoop, and Vicky's already doing her homework. Normally at the halfway point, um, I go and put on an apron, but since we are playing, yes, Sandra, it is time for some water, but since we are playing a game and since I love this sweater, and this is the last time you all will see me in it this year, then I'm going to go ahead and leave the sweater on, but we are at the halfway point in chat number 300, 300 chats. Um, we're going to play a game and it's going to be a trivia game. So while I'm getting a sip of hot tea because it is ferociously, okay, I say it's cold outside. Some of y'all would be like, Psh, that's summer, that's shorts weather. Um, but I'm going to go ahead, oh, and Cheryl's drinking her coffee, which is actually her dinner. Cheryl, you got to have some food for dinner. Um, but I want you to go get your paper and your preferred writing utensil. I know, Sandra, isn't it exact, isn't it wonderful? Isn't it so fantastic? Um, so I want you to go get your, um, I want you to go get your piece of paper and your preferred writing utensil. I don't really care what you're writing it with. It can be a crayon, it can be a pen, it can be some, you know, whatever you want to write with. I want you to go and do that. Grab that, and I'm gonna get a sip. I'm gonna get a sip of my hot tea. You all drink some water, and I'll meet you back here in like 30 seconds. Okay. Oh goodness, Anita says it is snowing pretty good there in the Pacific Northwest.
and I love that y'all are already starting to do your homework. Sylvia says it's so cold there too. Yeah, the wind. The wind is it is what's so bad. Okay, you got about 15 more seconds to go grab your piece of paper and your preferred writing utensil. Phew. Okay. Oh wow. Scott says it's 15 degrees in Wisconsin. You win. You win. It's like 38 degrees here, but it's still cold. Okay, this is the second half of chat number 300. Today is December the 18th. I am Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com. Casey posts these in two segments. So if you're watching this later on YouTube, the first, the first um, one of these videos that's posted is the entire chat that is one hour long. <clears throat> she also posts it in a separate half. She posts the extra one in a, um, in a separate chat. Just so, you, just so that you can go back and do just the second one. Um, so yeah, so if you just want to do the game, you can go back and watch the second half. And I'm sorry, but for some reason, my phone is blowing up. And I do not know why, because every single person who is messaging me knows that I'm doing a live chat right now. So I have no idea why they are sending me messages. But anyway, so if you're watching this later on YouTube, there will be a full hour. Um, and that is the um, classroom for the from the prior week on Weight Watchers, whatever we went over with Weight Watchers the prior week. And then the second half is usually something fun. Sometimes we cook, sometimes we do other things, sometimes we just chit chat. This week, because it's chat number 300, and you know what? I should have made some confetti. Here, hold on. I have, Alyssa calls this celebration. So here, I will throw this. This is just the little red things out of, wait. Wait, what? Joan, what are you talking about? Yay! There you go. Hooray, hooray. So chat number 300. Hooray, yay. Yeah, Alyssa calls these little things celebrations. So I will throw some of those. Those came out of a gift that one of our vendors gave us. Okay, so this is chat number 300. We have been talking about end of the year, ending the year with intentions. It's time for a game. So for the second half, <clears throat> we are doing we're doing um, a trivia game. So does everybody have your piece of paper? Everybody go ahead and let me know. Do you have your piece of paper? And do you have your favorite writing utensil? Oh my gosh, John's pre-guessing. <laughs> Wait, John's pre-guessing the answers. And he says that the answer to number seven is no. Uh, number seven is not a yes or no question. He says, frozen, and number two, no, John, no, 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 y'all just don't pay attention to John. He's just trying to distract me. Okay, so Cynthia's got everything. Cynthia's ready. Who else is ready? Oh, and Anita's still trying to catch up. Patty's ready. Sandra's ready. Sherry's ready. Anita's ready. Cynthia's ready. Cynthia's, Cynthia's ready twice. She is ready to go. And... And okay, yeah. so it looks like everybody's ready. Now remember, without cheating, so that means John, actually John might know, John's not gonna know the answer. John's not gonna know the answer to all these. So he couldn't win either, okay? If anybody, if any person, and Lisa is ready, Julie's ready. So if any, if any person had, gets all of these right, you will win this lovely, weatherproof vinyl sticker and if we don't have someone that gets all of them right all of them right if somebody else like you know next up whatever okay scott's ready yep deborah's ready karen's ready okay so here is question number one so i'm going to go through there are 12 questions 12 trivia questions i'm going to go through them one through 12 if you want to go ahead and i don't know if you're the person who likes to go ahead and number your paper one through 12 if you're going to want to write them down as we go if you're just going to write the questions if you're just going to write the answers whatever you whatever you want to do honey it's your game card no one's going to see it so just do it however you want to so there's 12 questions i'm going to try not to talk too too fast and then at the end i will go back and answer so you can shout out your answer here because you may or may not know it so this isn't going to be like, uh, what is it where, what's one of those shows where they don't want you to yell out the answer, like um, Jeopardy or something where they don't want you to yell it out? Doesn't matter because you may not know the right answer, okay? So I want you to write it down though because you're going to count at the end how many of them you got right and you can shout them out if you think you know the answer 
totally up to you. Okay, question number one. Question number one is, I talk about my accountability frequently, like a lot, like not quite every Sunday, but I talk about my accountability a lot, frequently. What is her name? What is my accountability? Some of these are easy and some of them are not. So what is my accountability's first name? You do not have to know the second name. Okay, we got some people guessing. Remember, they may or may not be right. <clears throat> and I'm really good at bluffing, so, you know, so you're not going to know. Okay, so question number one, what is my accountability's name? First name. I only have to know the first name. Okay. I'll give you all just a minute to write that down. And don't forget, even if you're shouting it out, I still want you to write it down because you're going to have to go back and count how many of these you get right, okay? Okay. Question number two. I have two granddaughters. Their names are Alyssa and Bo. Alyssa will be five next week. So Alyssa's fifth birthday is, what, John, Saturday? Saturday next week. So Alyssa will be five next week. Bo is 14 months. But what are their nicknames? What nicknames have we given Alyssa and Bo? So those are our granddaughters. Alyssa's almost five. Debbie, are you saying wow over Alyssa? I know, I know. Yeah, she'll be five, five next week. And Bo is 14 months. But I wanna know, Alyssa and Bo, what are their nicknames? Yeah. I know Barbara's like, what? Five? You were a baby watch. <clears throat> exactly. Okay, you are a little slower to answer on these. So Alyssa and Bo. Okay, we've got some guesses. And no cheating, John, because John knows the answer to this one. Actually, he should know the answer to almost all of these. But he can't win. This is not open to family members, so he cannot win. Okay, we got several guesses there. Don't forget to write them down. Okay, trivia question number three. It's no secret that I have a YouTube channel. I mention it, you know, like every other sentence. Um, and it's no secret that I have a YouTube channel that I want every single one of you to go subscribe, comment, share, whatever, when we get done tonight. So that's not a secret. But does do you happen to know what the topic is of my most viewed video ever? Ever. I will give you a clue. It's five years old. Hello, Gina. Gina, we're playing a game. Gina, run, 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 run. Go get a piece of paper and your favorite writing utensil. Hurry, hurry, hurry. We're, three, we're on question number three of a trivia game. So question number one is what is my accountability's name? Question number two. My granddaughters are Alyssa and Bo. What are their nicknames? Question number three on my YouTube channel, and no cheating. You can cheat on this one. It's, this was impossible. Like, I didn't even know what it was, okay? So, what is my most viewed, what's my top most viewed video ever? And it is about five years old. I will admit that, which is probably why it's viewed that many times, okay? Some good guesses. Y'all have got some good guesses going on here. That one you might actually have to cheat, but I don't want y'all to get off and go cheat, okay? That was question number three. Oh, that's a great guess, Julie. <laughs> Not saying you're right or wrong, but that's a great guess. Okay, trivia question number four. Okay, and if you are late, if you are late, we are playing a game because this is chat number 300 in here. So just in case you're late, yay! I'll do the confetti again. Hooray, hooray for chat number 300. Um, we are on question number four of a trivia game for chat number 300. Number four, we have so many amazing people, amazing and like-minded people in our group, okay? What is the affectionate name that was coined by one of our founding members for these friends? So I consider all 12,000 of you all my friends, 
but one of our founding members of the If You Have an Egg group coined a name for these friends. What is that name? And I feel like we're playing a game show for some reason. What is, Alex? Okay. So that was number four. Okay. That one got some quick answers. Yep, we had some quick answers pop up on number four. So if you are just joining us, we are playing a trivia game for chat number 300. And the first question is, what is my accountability buddy's name? Question two is, I have two grand, we have two granddaughters. Um, we have two granddaughters, let's see, Alyssa and Bo. What are their nicknames? Number three is, what is my single most viewed um, video ever on YouTube? Number four is what is the affectionate name that was coined by one of our founding members for the for our close 15, 12, 15,000, however many of them there are, um, friends. Okay, lots of answers on that one. Okay, trivia question number five. Um, you may have already guessed that I like to talk. How many of y'all guessed that? A lot. Who is the one person, there's only one, who is the one person who has appeared in, in, in multiple chats even though I talk his or her ear off for hours before we ever get started. So there's one person, only one, and it's not even John. It's not John. It's not Casey. It's not Alyssa or Bo. Who's the one person that has, has appeared in multiple chats and will listen to me tick, 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 for hours before and then even for a little while after. And this person's nickname is an acceptable response. So if you only know that person's nickname, that's a perfectly good response. Okay, you already have a guess on this one. And this is someone who's actually appeared in a chat. Not somebody that I just talk about, but somebody who appears in a chat. Hello, Sharon from West Virginia. Okay, and again, if you only know this person's nickname, because I nickname people, if you only know people's nicknames, totally acceptable. Um, okay, so it's the singular person who has appeared in, not just been mentioned in, but has actually appeared in multiple, um, multiple chats. Okay, that was question number five. Question number six. If you need some ins inspiration without becoming a chef, you can head on over to my recipe, recipe blog, and that is www.ifyouhaveanegg.com. What is my most popular recipe of all time. So which recipe have more people searched, clicked on, printed? What is my most popular recipe of all time on ifyouhaveanegg.com? That is question number six. So if you're just joining us, this is um, chat number 300. We've been doing this 300 times, 300. And that might be important information later. Don't know, I'm just saying, okay. Um, question number one is, what is my accountability buddy's name? Question number two, my granddaughters, Alyssa and Bo, what are their nicknames? Question number three, what is the most popular video that I have on YouTube that viewed more than any other one? Question number four, what is the affectionate name that one of our uh, founding members of our group, what, what name did they coin for all of our friends? Number five, who is the singular person who has appeared more times on chats than anybody else? It's actually the only person that's appeared on more than one. Okay. Okay. Uh, person. Debbie. <laughs> person. Person. She said, De she said Dusty. Yeah, Dusty has appeared on more chats. And you know what? I guess he was feeling left out. And that's why he fell out of the chair a few minutes ago. But, um... Okay, and then number six is what is my most popular recipe of all time? What has been clicked on, made, uh, talked about, viewed, whatever, more, more than anything else? What's that most popular recipe? Okay, got a lot of answers on that one. Y'all must think you know that one. Because like a lot of people answered that one. Okay. Question number seven. I love, love, love to add simple and nutritious flavor to my food. What is my absolute 
hands down, most favorite thing to put on anything, to put on almost anything except ice cream. I don't think this would be good on ice cream, okay? So hands down, what's my favorite thing to put on lots and lots and lots of different things other than ice cream, just because I don't think it would be good on ice cream, okay? Okay, that is number seven. And again, if you're just joining us, we are playing a trivia game because this is chat number 300, which might be important information here in a few minutes. You never know. Um, so we are celebrating chat number 300. And again, that means that you can go watch 299 other chats plus some other videos over on youtube.com. Search if you have an egg. And sorry, Gina said, Fat Man Chicken. I mean, that man, glad I figured it out. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but anyway, that means you have 299 other chats. Um, oh, you got to pick one though, Carol. You have to pick one. And there was a little clue in the, in the, oh, there was a little hint in the question. Um, but anyway, you can watch 299 other chats on YouTube. That's just youtube.com. Search if you have an egg. Or you can go over to ifyouhaveaneg.com and you can print out most of them. Jessica just started talking to them. I know, Debbie. Just started talk, Just started typing them probably about 100 in. So they're not all typed out, but a lot of them are. And you can go and print them out if you need to. Um, but this is in celebration of chat number 300. Question number one was my accountability buddy's name, first name. Question number two is we have two granddaughters, Alyssa and Bo. What are their nicknames? Question number three on my YouTube channel, that's just youtube.com, search if you have an egg. What is my number one ever, ever, all time um, viewed, and yes, Lynn is on here somewhere, Barbara, video. It is from about five years ago. Number four is what is the affectionate name that was coined for our, uh, our friend group over on if you have an egg. Number five is who's the singular person, not a dog, who's the singular person who has appeared in multiple chats. Number six, what is my, from if you have an egg.com, what is my number one most viewed, clicked, printed, tried, talked about, whatever recipe. And number seven, what is my absolute, hands down, most favorite thing to put on almost anything? So I love, love, love to add simple and nutritious flavor to my food. So what is my absolute, hands down, most favorite thing to, to add to food? Except for ice cream. I just don't think it would be good on ice cream. Okay, number eight. Number eight. As you can see, I am an equal opportunity food eater. Okay, like there's not a lot that I don't eat. But what is one food you will never catch me eating, ever, never, like, never, ever? So what's one food that you will never, ever see me eat? Ever. I can promise. I promise you will never see me eat it. Ever. Okay? Okay. Got an answer on that one. A couple of y'all think you know what it is. Not saying you don't, not saying you do. Do I have a really good poker face? I think I really, I think I do have a really good poker face. And I don't know what my tail is, but you know, I think I have a really good poker face. Okay. So number eight is, even though I'll eat nearly anything, even though I eat nearly everything, what is one thing that you will never, ever, ever, never, never, ever see me eat? Like, and I can barely stand to listen to y'all talk about it, which is awful because I will go ahead and say, Barbara, you know I love tofu. So tofu is not the answer. So even though I love tofu, there's something that I just cannot stand to even listen to y'all talk about. Okay, so that is number eight. Number nine, my husband John has survived years of me riding in vans with strangers, not even kidding, going out of town with people I've never met, like crossing the state lines with people that I've never met, flying into strange towns 
and going to stay with families that I don't know, like families that don't know me, I don't know them, you know, he's, he has survived all of this. So far, I've not been kidnapped. Either that, or I know Barbara, either that, or they tried to kidnap me and I talked too much and they were just like, oh yeah, have a good time, you know, and set me free. Okay, so he has survived years of this. Um, there is only one member of our group, John, okay, <laughs> Okay, only one member of our group has actually hosted me in their home without ever having met me in person, okay? There is one person in our If You Have an Egg group who actually invited me to come stay in their home with them and their family and sleep in their house for a couple of days, and they never met me, okay? It's one person, only one. No, no more than just one. And if you only know their nickname... That is, accept that is an acceptable answer. So, I've gotten in, let's see, uh, before I ever met Winstar Karen, um, it, and it's not her, okay, I'll just go ahead and tell you, it's not her. So, Winstar Karen, I had never met her. Uh-huh, Barbara's, okay, Barbara's heading in the right direction. So, Winstar Karen, I had, even though she lives, like, one county over from us or whatever, I had never met her. Um, I had, well, no, I'm sorry. I had met her, but, um, her and another girl named Sherry, John didn't know them. I didn't know a lot about them. I had met him on the internet. Um, oh, wait, hold on a second. Let's see. Rosie's stumped on that one. She is stumped. Yeah. That one's kind of hard. I told you a couple of them were going to be hard. A couple of them are s silly easy, but a couple of them were, you know, really had to think about it. So, um, the first time John dropped me off with Winstar Karen and and our and her, our now our then friend Sherry, he dropped me off at a truck stop, and I didn't know who I was looking for. I'd never, I had not actually met them in person. Didn't know who I was looking for. She pulled up in this ratty van that had the door was falling off of it, and they pulled up to get me. And he was like, "So who are these people?" And I was like. I don't know. They're, they're, I met them on the internet, and he let me reluctantly. He let me get the van in the van with them. I'm sidetracking. Okay, I'm going off down a little rabbit hole, just because so many of you all have no idea who it is. So I think everybody's going to be stumped. So yeah, it's got in a van with complete strangers, and we went to we went across state lines, taught some scrapbooking classes, came back, and then we traveled together. You know, lots of times. Um, but this person in particular. I was going for, I'll give you all another clue. You're still not going to guess who it is. So everybody's going to get number nine. I think everybody's going to get number nine wrong. And number nine is not actually here with us tonight. So they can't even give you a clue. Okay. So, and, and, a, and again, a nickname is perfectly acceptable. But um, this person, I was traveling for a conference to, I'll just say Missouri. I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> John is, John's trying to give you all a clue. He's trying to give you all a clue. But just real quick, because I'm not trying to, yeah, 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 Sylvia, you're headed in the right direction. Real quick, though, this person begged me, begged me to stay with their family at their house because they did not like the hotel that they were going to, that they were going to have me booked in. So I flew into this one city in Missouri, got a rental car, drove to this person's house, never met him before, had never met them in person before, drove to their house, called John, and I was like, ping, here's where I'm at. So in case these people kill me, kidnap me, eat me, you know, whatever, you'll at least know where to come and pick up my belongings and where the rental car, where they should pick up the rental car. And he let me go reluctantly, but he let me go. And they have ended up being some of my best friends, okay? So... I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Sometimes you just trust people. Okay, so that was number nine. Who is that person? Who is that one person that actually let me stay in their home? Now, I've gotten in a lot of cars with strangers, so there's lots of choices on that one, but this is the one person that actually had me come and stay at their home with their family, and they have ended ended up, yeah, pick up my remains, Debbie. Exactly. Exactly. We're nowhere to go to pick up my remains. I know. Um, but anyway, okay, so who is that person? And, uh, and a nickname is perfectly acceptable. Okay, then these last two, oh no, wait, wait, number 10. So question number 10 is, you know, I love a good hashtag. Okay, I love a good hashtag, even though I use them inappropriately and apparently excessively, according to my daughter, Casey. What is my number one used hashtag? So what hashtag do I use more than any other? That one should be easy. That should be an easy, that should be a gimme.
Okay, so what is my number one most used hashtag? And then I'm gonna have to speed it up here a little bit or we're not gonna get through the answers. Okay, got a couple of answers. Okay, so these last two are for those of you that are sitting there going, I got no chance. I have no chance of winning. Uh, talking show, please. What is the number of that talking show, please? Um, which one? So that was number, number nine is the strangers, going to the stranger's house. Who is it? Number 10 is, um, so we're going to know what number we were on. Number 10 is, um, my favorite hashtag, like my number one used hashtag, but my number one overused hashtag. Number, let's see. Okay. The next two are for those of you that are like, I'll never get, I'll never Never, ever, ever. I'll never get any of these. Okay. You should be able to get number 10, number 11, and number 12. Okay. Number 11. This is not a trick question. This is a give me. Okay. How many chats have we had? And that includes tonight. Everyone should be able to answer that one. Okay. Even if you did not get one other answer on here, everyone should be able to answer number 11. I've said it like 15 times, <laughs> including tonight. How many chats have we had? Okay, so number 11, everyone should have an answer, a correct answer written into number 11. Okay, and number 12, and if you don't get this one, right now, you just need to stop watching, okay? Because you still, even unless you're brand new, you still should be able to get number 12. So what is mine and my family's favorite vacation thing to do on this planet? Like what is our favorite Thing to do on this planet. Me, John, Alyssa, Bo, Casey, Allen, our entire family. What is our favorite thing to do on the planet? Oh, the instant pot one. Okay, Barbara wanted to know the instant pot one. That one is um, nine. That one's number nine. Okay, so we're getting some answers on number 12. Number 12 should have been pretty easy. Number 11 should have been really easy because I've given you the answer like 15 times to not. Um, okay, and number 12 should have been stinking easy. Okay, so here are the answers. And I, oh my gosh, you've only got three minutes. Okay, hurry, 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 go, 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 go. Okay, listen real quick. <clears throat> and I want y'all, I want to know if anybody got all 12 of these. Okay, number one, my accountability buddy's name, Karen. Her name is Karen. A lot of y'all got that one right. Number two, two granddaughters, Alyssa and Bo. Their nicknames are Peanut. And because John had nicknamed Alyssa Peanut when the second one came along, he nicknamed her Pistachio. So Peanut and Pistachio saw several right answers on that one. Number three was hard. My number one watched ever, and it's five years old, which helps with the number of times it's watched, was a top 25 Trader Joe's picks. And it was from five years ago. That one has been watched thousands and thousands and thousands of times. So it was a list of my top 25 favorite things from Trader Joe's from five years ago and has been watched thousands of times. Number four, the name that was coined for our group, Egglets. So the members of our If You Have an Egg group are affectionately known as Egglets. The answer to number five, Orlando Debbie. Orlando Debbie has been in more chats than any other person, even than anybody in my family. She has appeared in more chats, human, she's a human. Number six, number one, clicked on, tried whatever recipe is that man, not fat man, that man's chicken. Number seven, the thing I love most to put on anything except ice cream is nutritional yeast. Saw lots of right answers on that one. The thing you will never see me eat, that's number eight, cottage cheese. Almost all of y'all got that one right. Number nine, the person who welcomed me into her home, even though she didn't know me, is Popcorn Karen. And it's spelled K-A-R-A-N, but, you know, I'll forgive you if you spell it with an E. Number 10, my, the, the hashtag that I say most frequently is hashtag bulk it up. And I used to have a little spinner thing that I would show you all. Number 11 and number 12 should be easy. Number 11, how many chats have we had, including tonight? That would be 300. Number 12, my family's favorite thing to do anywhere, anytime, whatever, Disney. Yeah. Disney, Disney, Disney. So real quick, I know I'm running you all to exactly to nine o'clock. Did anyone get all 12 of them correct without cheating? Anybody, okay? Lisa got nine. Is there anybody that got 12? 
And I know I'm pushing y'all to nine o'clock, but is there anybody that got 12? Oh, Carol Lou missed one. Which one did you miss, Carol Lou? Okay, so we know there's somebody at least got 11. Vicki got 10. Did anybody else get 11? A lot of nines. Some of them were a little bit hard. A lot of nines. Okay, Lisa got 11. Oh, Lisa got 11, correct. Okay. Okay, quickly, quickly, because it is 9 o'clock. Anybody else get 11? Is there anybody that got 12? So right now we've got Carol Lou and Lisa. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, so y'all are telling me which ones you missed? I need to know what number. You only missed nine. Only missed nine. Oh, so several of you all only missed number nine. That is too funny. Okay. Yeah, John does not count. Oh, John, you did not know which one was my most popular. You had you did not know which one was my most popular video. Okay, so if you got 11, or if there is somebody else who actually got 12, go ahead and let me know. Um, I might have enough. I might have enough prizes to send if there was only a handful of you. I might have enough prizes to send you all. So if you did get 11, correct. Or if anybody got 12, you definitely win. Um, but if any of you got... <coughs> if any, how many of y'all got 11 right? I might be able to come up with enough prizes for all of you. So go ahead and comment. Let me know um, if you are, um, I know Barbara can't believe she's been watching me for six years. I can't, I can't believe I've been talking for six years. That's why my voice always sounds like this. Um, but if you are watching this on, ooh, Carol got 11. But if you're watching this later on YouTube, go ahead and let that next video roll over. That would be chat number 299 because this one is 300. Um, if you have not, already. Um, if you have not already subscribed, please do so here and click that little button. Um, otherwise, I'm going to let y'all go ahead and go. Remember, we are skipping next week because next Sunday is Christmas Day. Um, you know, and I was thinking about doing one, but you know, really, we just need to spend time with the family. So, and I need to let y'all spend time with your family. So, hello, Deanna. Deanna, you're going to have to go back and play our game and see, see if you get any of these right. Um, but uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy Hanukkah to those of you who celebrate that. Um, but I will see you in two weeks. So I will not see you next Sunday. I will see you the following Sunday. And by then, Alyssa will be five, if you can believe it. And yes, Vicki, we are doing January the 1st. Yes, ma'am. Yep. Yep. So we will have had all of our celebrations um, over with by the 1st. So we've got, we have Christmas, Casey's birthday, Alyssa's birthday, and Casey and Alan's anniversary boom 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 all coming up but then january 1st we are done with all of that so i will not see you this sunday merry christmas everybody i will see you the following sunday to wish you a very happy new year but remember if you got 11 right or if somebody got 12 right let me know and i'll see what i can do about sending you a prize but y'all have a great two weeks have a very merry christmas and i'll see you next time thanks for being here good night